project that I found very interesting was A Comfortable Skin. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that one? Yeah. Um, so when I, so I was in, or I am in, um, it's called Second Life. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a 3D online virtual world, um, kind of like The Sims or World of Warcraft, except for it's not a video game. So I don't know if you're familiar. You create an avatar um, or, you know, a virtual computer representation of yourself, um, kind of like your profile picture or something. But it's like, and something that everybody was doing on Facebook a week or two ago, creating like their, you know, a a like cartoonish representation of themselves. So in Second Life, I joined in 2006 and um, my avatar, her name is Gracie. Um, she was tall, thin, blonde, you know, very classy, very beautiful. And when I started the master's program at my college in 2008 in painting, my professor was really interested in Second Life and what I was doing there. And she wanted me to really... Um, deep dive into why my avatar was the way she looked, you know, why, because I'm overweight, I'm shorter, you know, I, um, I didn't, you know, I don't call myself beautiful. So she really wanted me to look at that and compare myself with my avatar. And so through that process, and that's what my master's thesis was about, um, I started to think of like the skins that we live in, you know, the skin that we live in, however that is. Like even our profile picture on Facebook or, you know, selfies are like this different skin because we all like, you know, um, whether it's duck lips or whether it's, you know, we all try and make ourselves thinner by holding our phone above our heads, you know, to look down on us so we don't have our double chin. Um, so I started to really think about that. And I also at the time, um, I'm an abstract painter. And so I was trying to think about how my painting correlates with like body image and with everything else I was doing. So what I did was I uploaded my paintings into Second Life and I used my painting paintings as a skin on my avatar. And I mean, there's a, a much longer story there, but I started to think about, um, about our skin and what that means. And of course it has much broader terms. I mean, you know, as far as race, as you know, gender, I mean, all of that. And so while I was in Second Life, I was all, also interested in bringing the virtual, like blurring the line between the virtual and physical world. And I brought the avatar with a painted skin. I used a painting of mine as a skin on my avatar. I brought her into real life by painting mannequins in, this, in the same way. And um, so I did a whole series. I did eight mannequins. And I called them a comfortable skin um, as a series. And then actually, I eventually ended up cutting them up and putting them into jars that either look like candy or look like this mad scientist lab. And I called it an uncomfortable skin, you know, kind of riffing off of the idea of what is a comfortable skin. Are we comfortable in our own skin? You know, what does that mean? And so... Um, you know, it goes deeper than that, but that's kind of the gist.